Welcome back. We're glad you're with us today. It's back to school time here in Fayette County next week. Some other school systems have already started, and it means it's time to think about packing school lunches. Elizabeth Creed, Family and Consumer Sciences Extension Agent out of Woodford County, is joining us now with some tips on nutrition and saving money. Welcome. Glad to have you in here. Thank you. Glad to be here. You know, this can be a real challenge because you want to pack a great lunch, but you also want them to eat it. Yes, so. and both of those things sometimes can be challenging. You can pack a healthy lunch, but is your kid going to eat it at school? And you're going to tell us how to pack that lunch that they will want to eat. Exactly. What do we need to think about? Well, one thing that you can do with your children at home is to talk with them about what would you like to eat at school, and think about the options, and talk to them about nutrition. You know, well, do you think you know a bologna sandwich on white bread is healthy with potato chips and a juice box? You know. What what else could we do? Yeah. And then have them help to pack that lunch with you so they will be more likely to eat it at school if they have helped with it. And That's the same, what you want to do. And the same goes with any meal that you fix at home. If they help you with it, they're going to be more likely to eat it. And so this is a good way to explain it to people using this kind of a plate that has the portions. Yes, exactly. And this has all five of the food groups. So that's something that you can talk with your kids as well is talk about now what dairy do we have? Well, we have yogurt, so that fits our dairy group. We have bread on our our sandwich that fits our grain group, fruits and vegetables and protein. So talking about getting a nutritious meal as well. Well, and that really looks good. How do you also make sure that it's it's safe? And you know, especially when you're putting something like yogurt in there, how do you make sure it's safe and protected and ready for them to eat? Yes, you want to make sure that the food is safe. You can use a reusable lunchbox similar to this or a hard shell lunchbox with an ice pack. Mm -hmm. So if you're packing things like meats or cheeses um, or yogurts, any kind of dairy, you want to make sure to have an ice pack to keep that food cold through lunchtime. And you want to make sure too to only pack enough food that your child is going to eat so that you don't have to worry about at the end of the day if they have leftovers and you're going to have to throw it away probably. Well, and that can happen. Or sometimes, sometimes you do hear about kids who trade at the lunch table. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, they might trade a yogurt for a bag of chips. <laughs> Maybe if you've had those conversations ahead of time, though, that won't happen quite as much. Exactly. They're going to be more willing to eat what they've packed themselves. All right, that's yeah. very good. So just pull them together and have that planning session and then turn them loose. That's Any right. other suggestions of things that are really good? Well, um, no, things that are that don't have to be refrigerated, such mm -hmm. as nuts and whole fruits and vegetables, things that they can easily pick up. So, example, if you're going to have an apple, maybe cut those slices up, and so they don't brown, dip them in orange juice or pineapple juice, Very so th good. so that they can just eat that. They don't have to worry about eating around the core because yeah, it's not going to be appetizing if it's. That's brown. right. That's, That's right. Good, good advice. And another tip that a lot of people don't think about is washing out the lunchbox. They can get kind of dirty, and that, of course, you know, might affect the sanitary uh, aspect. Of, of the food that goes into it. So make sure to clean the inside of that lunchbox out good as well. Good reminders as we get ready for that good start to school. That's right. And of course, people can get more information by checking the Extension Office. Yes, check your local Extension Office for more information. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.